Uh, Shalom, <clears throat> all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, and Kakadosh. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, Saitesh, Yuakim, teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this video is going to be called, um, call, they call evil good and good evil. Um, this is, um, a show called Couples Court with the, the, Cutlers, uh, there's this couple, uh, this this couple judges, a man and a woman. They um, have this court where they they uh, basically um, uh, judge over people's relationships. Um, and this this uh, couple right here that came into court are basically two men. One's a trans woman, the other one's an, uh, another, uh, is just a man who's with the trans woman, um, and, uh, the trans woman is coming into court to bring her husband, it's husband, I'm not even gonna try to say her, Salaki if for saying her, but anyway, it's husband brought uh, it's husband in because the the guy thought that his his husband was cheating on him, but the whole to sum it all up is the point is the two judges was calling the trans person her and woman and it was just it's totally you know calling evil good and good evil and at first the guy that was um with this trans person was calling him he and then he skipped from calling it he to she and through, you know so i'm just gonna show a, a small i'm not gonna show too much of this and i'm then i'm gonna skip the scriptures then i'm gonna go to the scriptures because basically this is wicked you know the whole relationship was wicked, and, and the judges that are on there, they, you know, they just calling her she for for the show. But it's just all wicked, you know. But anyway, I'm just going to go. Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Featherston versus Johnson. You two are coming up on your ninth anniversary. But cheating allegations have thrown your relationship into turmoil. Ms. Featherston, tell us why you are here. Well, I'm here, Yana, today to bring my husband, Shahid, to court because I have questions that need answers. I understand. I mean, my rela we've been in together for eight years now. I am a transgender woman, and I feel that maybe, you know, he's losing his interest in me. I mean, our sex life has stopped. And I can see why... He possibly could be losing interest in this person because it's not a real woman, anyway. But anyway, it's to deteriorate, and it's a lot of unanswered questions and things going on. So I need answers. I need help. You know, we hear a lot of couples when one person is accused the other of cheating that one of the first signs is the sex life decreases. Mr. Johnson, when you have this hanging over your relationship, what is it? What is it like when you all are together? What is home like? That's the bottom line. Well, it's hectic at home, though, because she don't believe me. And he just said, he don't believe me. So at first he was saying he, and then he started saying... And like, if I go to the store, I'll run to the store and run home. Because if I'm gone too long, she'll think I'm doing something else, though. And then he started saying she. So at first he said he, and then he said she. So the point is, he know in his spirit that this is not right. This whole relationship is not right. You know, it's all wicked. And then, um, I'm just like when we hanging out, and if I look at someone too long, she say I'm eye contacting. Like my eyes have mouth, has a mouth, and it'll talk to them. Like how am I doing this? You know what I'm saying? I can't help the way that I look, or if somebody look at me twice or something like that. But I'm not eye talking. I love her from inside out. <laughs> And all of this is causing just a strain on your relationship. Yes, it is, because I have no friends. I don't never stop at a bar and have my own self a cocktail and just sit there for a minute because she'll be thinking that something else is going on. So, Ms. Featherstone, tell me about your meeting. 
Well, that's an interesting story, Rihanna. Because I, actually, I was walking down the street coming from the grocery store. And like I said, I am transgender in the community. I, you know, used to cook Sunday dinners for the uh, kids in the community that was less fortunate and this and that. And I was walking down the street, actually, and I saw this fine red bone walking. Some pretty <laughs> blue, greenish eyes. And you couldn't tell this wasn't a man. Like, like you, like, seriously, you couldn't tell. Like, the voice gives it away. But if you saw for a naked eye, you couldn't really tell this was born a man. And now it looks like a female. But you really couldn't tell if, like, if you look, were walking far away, you know? Um, but I mean, and the hair was even longer more. then. And I was like, hey, handsome, how you doing? You know, and he looked at me and kept on walking. So cooking the Sunday dinner, everybody coming in, the kids coming in, lo and behold, walked through my door, Shahid. Oh. And uh -huh. three months down the line, me and him became an item. All right, so you saw him, he showed up, and you locked it down. Yes, I did. I and know, this woman know what you... She... And then this, this nigga woman on, on the judge table said, uh, a woman know what he want, what she want, you know? And that, that and then, you know... That's basically calling evil good and good evil. Like you, you, you're calling this thing a woman when it's not a woman. It was born a man, natural born man. It just changed itself to a a a woman, which is wicked. Um, so um, I'm gonna go to to the scriptures from because I I basically made my point in there. I don't need to go any further because all they gonna talk about is sex life and everything. And that's just totally wicked so anyway this is uh deuteronomy 23 and 17 um there shall be no whore of the daughters of israel so our our women should be you know committing whoredoms and being all you know hopping from man to man you know uh israelite woman should be with one husband you know when she uh, you know gets with that that one man you know she only should be with that one man and not be out here uh, whoring. Um, in verse 17, more in verse 17 says, Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And that whole relationship within that um, that show is a sodomite relationship because that, that trans person is not a real woman. That's a man dressed in drag and, and surgically looks like a woman, but it's not really a woman. You know, and that guy that's with that woman, that that person, Salaki for calling it a woman, that guy with that person, in his mind and his spirit is, he he knows it's wrong to be with that that uh, that that particular person. Um, uh, I'm gonna go to Leviticus, Leviticus twenty and thirteen. It says, if a man also lie, lie, lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. So that, so that whole relationship is an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon it. And, you know, Esau promotes that kind of relationship in the society, you know. And, you know, we're not in our land to, to, to enact to put... Uh, two homosexuals to death, but that um, that wickedness is um, that that judgment is for them to die. You know that's why Yahabashin Yashai puts so many diseases in their community, gives them um, because, like it says, a sentence. Against the evil work is not executed speedily because, you know, the homosexuals, they don't get put to death right away. You know, they don't um, get judged right away. They continue doing it even though they know it's wrong, you know. But if we were in our land, we we put them to death because that that's, you know, the best thing for them. They go back to the spirit world. They're in the right mind. But. You know they stay and continue in. They they are not happy within that that uh, 
that circumstance, you know. Uh, I'm going to go to Isaiah uh, 5 and 20 since I kept mentioning the scripture. It's Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, War unto them that call evil good. So destruction unto them that call evil good and good evil. And put darkness for light and light for darkness. And that's an example for putting darkness for light and light for darkness. Calling that that trans person a woman when it's not a woman. That's a man. You know, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's totally an example of, of calling good evil. Call evil good and good evil. Putting darkness for light and light for darkness. Putting bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Um... Um, my next scripture I'm going to get is Isaiah 3 and verse 9. It says, um, this is, um, Isaiah 3 and verse 9. Uh, the show of, the, of, show of their countenance do witness against themselves, against them, as they, they declare their sin as Sodom, and they hide it not. And that's them... Declaring their sin as Sodom and they're hiding it not. You know, um, they're um, showing in public because that's a that's a, a public show. You know, YouTube is um, a uh, a public and highly viewed uh, website across the entire world. So everybody on Earth has seen this show. And know about this um, that uh, situation that that's on that show, and you know, and that show has been published on TV, and that's been uh, showed. And it says they declare they sin in Sodom and hide it not. So and they declare their sin in Sodom on that show, and it says woe unto their soul for they have. Re Rewarded evil unto themselves and destruction unto them uh, on that show, because basically they rewarded evil to themselves, promoting wickedness. You know, because that's a wicked, um, uh, uh, that's a wicked relationship. That's a wicked um, vibration. You know, you're promoting. Um, same sex relations when that's not and you're you're calling it uh the 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 trans person a woman when it's not a woman and you're you're not even um letting you're not even uh calling that thing by what it's supposed to be that's a a man not a woman you know and it shows that yeah how about she outside gave that man who's with that that other man over to that uh, that um, uh, that vow um, that vow uh, affection you know this is uh this is Romans 1 and 26 and it says for this cause the most high gave them Unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So both both individuals are vile affections. The, the, both are men in a, a relationship together. One looks like a woman, and the other one looks like a regular man. You know, um, and two judges are are. You know, prom you know, are are you know, with it, they they're um, accepting that relationship as a as a healthy relationship when that's wicked, you know. Um, verse twenty seven says, and likewise also the men, even the natural use of the women, burn in their lust one towards another, men with men working that which is unseemly. And receiving in themselves a re that recompense of their error, which was me, and that 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 relationship is not going to benefit 
either individual in the long run because all it's going to do is um, create diseases and create um, more and more problems because two men cannot continue in a relationship even though they were together for uh, nine years that that that's not going to last because that it always ends up in either domestic violence or death and more importantly death you know so that I just wanted to um, bring show this is an example of call it evil good and good evil I'm going to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Kakadash, double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone, and salutation, you all can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.